Before vaccination, pertussis was the number one uh, killer of babies in the United States, and it's still a major problem worldwide. The World Health Organization estimates that 200,000 uh, babies die every year from pertussis. So pertussis is also known as whooping cough, and that's because of the very violent, body-racking coughs that an infant would have. I mean, your immune system is just going crazy. You're getting overrun with these bacteria in your lungs. So a lot of the babies who get really sick, it's so sad they get it from their grandma, they get it from a caretaker, um, and so it's really important to get vaccinated first of all. If you have a newborn baby, you do not want them exposed to whooping cough. You're doing everything you can to kind of cocoon them so that they aren't going to be exposed. If they do get it, the problem is that we don't have a lot of uh, ways to help them. Some of the ideas that doctors approach us with is to just hydrate the babies, give them oxygen, help them breathe in some way. Um, now they're doing stuff like they actually take blood out of the baby's system and remove some of the white blood cells that are clogging up their lungs. You know, having a blood transfusion and filtering the blood and doing all those things. I mean, this is a newborn we're talking about here, right? We're working as hard as we can on making some sort of therapeutic that will actually help um, babies who do contract the disease or are exposed. So what we have in our lab is a couple of antibodies, which are molecules of the immune system, which bind the pertussis toxin and help to neutralize that toxin. So for these young infants that are too young to get the vaccine, instead we can give them our antibodies to help combat the disease. We can give a baby an injection and give them instant immunity. Within five minutes, they'll have more antibodies than they would have if they'd been fully vaccinated. And those antibodies can block the toxin and treat all the symptoms of disease. Anything that is as close as we can get to mimicking like a human immune system would be the best therapy. Antibodies are really nice because they are very well accepted by our body because we make them all the time and we can manipulate them to target different things. So antibody therapeutics can be used for cancer, they can be used for um, infectious disease, they can be used for a variety of different problems that we encounter. When I was in graduate school, I was working on antibodies to neutralize anthrax toxin. I met some people who were working on pertussis and they said, oh, well, pertussis is really a problem because it's coming back and there's nothing we can do for it. And so everything that we did with anthrax, we were able to translate to the pertussis problem. I really think of our research labs as being like little startup companies, but we are fortunate that we don't have to do everything by ourselves because UT gives us all of this support and infrastructure. And that's what's different than if you're in a company. And uh, being able to do whatever we want and follow what we think is important. And then also take it the whole way from the beginning of the idea actually until you get to clinical trials. I think we're definitely coming up with something that'll be easily implemented and will affect a lot of people across the world. So we want to make sure that whatever we come up with at the end is really going to have impact.